Hey guys, so I sped this video up so that I can show you everything because it was long. But as you can see, I'm just, you know, trying to position myself. I start from um, the front and I go back. I don't know why, but that's just what I do. But the first one that I showed you, I really couldn't read the name. And I don't know if you guys could either, but I do use two flat irons when flat iron my hair. I use the big black ones and then I use the second pair that are a con air. Uh, I don't know why, but I just feel like my hair gets really bone straight when I use two flat irons. But I use that little pink clip that I showed you guys, just, you know, section off the pieces that I've already flat ironed. So, you know, I won't keep flat ironing the same pieces. And I just lowered the, um, the mannequin stand that I got because I wanted to show you a little more from the top because I go from the root and then I go down flatter in my hair but yeah so you know flat and I wanted to you know show you guys I just sectioned off a piece and then I grab it and I go from root to the bottom and for with uh, both flat irons and I just keep doing that all um, throughout the head and I was me showing you a comb I had to section off a piece I was you know getting more to the back the middle now so I'm going from the middle top to the uh ends so yeah just flat in my hair and I'll leave us the a link below on where I got my mannequin hair for my body from Amazon but as you can see my hair is naturally straight and I'll leave a link down below as well on where I bought my wig from it's the same wig that I showed you in my very first video I just bought it again because I'm obsessed with it but yeah, I'm flattering my hair. But I had to switch positions. I was in my bedroom and I just moved into the bathroom because I felt like it was better lighting. But it's still kind of bad. So sorry about that. I'm still waiting on my ring light to get here. So when I get that, it'll be better lighting, you guys. But with this mannequin hair, I really do like it. I feel like it's the right height and everything. But it's not really sturdy. So you would have to like sit something at the bottom of it to make it stay still because it will wobble while you're flat ironing, uh, flat ironing you know, curling or doing whatever you have to do with the stand. It will like wobble. It hasn't fallen, but it will wobble on you. But as you can see, I just keep doing the same technique. I take a, um, a little section of hair and then I flat iron it with both flat irons, the black ones first, and then I go over with the uh, con here, flat iron second. And that is how I flat iron my wigs. I am going to show you guys the video on how I curl it. But as you can see, there is a little wave pattern in it. It's naturally straight. It's only wavy. I haven't wet it, but I, it was curled previously. If you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat or anything, you can see the curls that I had in the wig. But they just fell, and that was like a really, really natural wave. So, I'm just, you know, doing what I've been doing. Just sectioning little pieces off. And then grabbing the uh, pink thing, making sure it's got the pieces. I had to flip it over because it was getting in the way. But y'all yeah, also got this Emma, uh, this foam head from Amazon as well. So if you're wondering, but y'all yeah, go with the black patterns from the root to the ends, and then I go over it again with the. I had to do it again with that one, but then I go over it again with the uh, pink one. And the hair be kind of hot. So if you see my hands moving, that's because the hair was freaking burning up. But yeah. So I just flat iron it like that. That's how it gets done. I had to put my foot, if you, if you notice, I put my foot on the bottom. Because it was not wanting to stay still. It was wobbling. And I did not flatter in the whole week for you guys, unfortunately. I, I am sorry if you were wanting me to do so. But I just did just like a little section because when I flatter in my hair, it literally takes me about two and a half hours to flatter in this whole entire week. So I really did not have the time to do that because I had to go somewhere after I did this little video for you guys. So I just decided to do a little section if you were wondering on how to flatter in your bow. Um, your lace wig, this is a full lace wig from Buy Lace Wigs. I'll leave the description in the box, like I said previously, for you guys. 
but I'm thinking about um, designing, like not designing, but decorating my little phone here because I see everybody else be having their little false lashes and lipstick and stuff on there. So I'm thinking I'm going to do that, but yeah, that's basically how I flatter my wig. Just, you know, to do a little section and then um, grab my first patterns and then go from the root to the end and then my second patterns from the root to the end. And that's it. It's really simple. If you guys do want to see a curl video, well, I am going to do it. But if you do want to uh, see a video, curl a video on how I curl my wigs on my mannequin head, please let me know. And I will do that for you. Do not forget to like this video and also subscribe. I'm so happy to see that my subscribers are growing. They're growing slowly, but for surely they are growing. But yeah, now I'm just going to brush it. I got the brush from Target, if you want to know. But yeah, that's basically my hair flatter. And you can see it's straight. And then like in the back, you can see that it's still a little wavy. But like I said, please subscribe to my channel. Like my video. And uh, you will see a curl video coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. But I did enjoy talking to you guys and showing you how I started on my wig. If you have any suggestions or anything else you want to see me do on my wig, please leave it in the comment section. And I will be sure to show you what I do. But catch you guys in my next video. See ya!